From our RCCA member, William Pearsall in Maryland, Tony, you have been an owner driver now for two full seasons, and I was wondering if being in that role has influenced your decision while inside the car. For example, has it affected your level of aggressiveness and fear of damaging equipment, or is the opposite true, where you are more assertive than ever when it comes to winning? I think it's still the same. I mean, it hasn't gone either direction, actually, because you know uh, that if you go out there and you tear your car up, that you're not going to have a shot to finish well. But uh, trust me, I don't I slide. There's not a bone in my body that can stand just riding around and, and relaxing during the day. So uh, we're always trying to get everything that we get, but we're making sure we're not putting ourselves in a bad spot. Anymore. Awesome. From another one of our RCCA members, SHR Fan 39. Have you ever thought about starting a nationwide team for developmental drivers to prepare your team for the future? No. Um, you know, our goal for Stuart Haas Racing is actually to be a four-car cup team eventually. So, uh, you know, before we would ever look at trying to build a nationwide team, we're, we're still trying to build the cup program up. So, uh, it's easier to add cup teams right now than it would be to start with a fresh nationwide program. So, uh, the, financially, it doesn't make sense for us to try to do that. From RCCA member Outlaw. With the 50th anniversary of A.J. Foyt's first Indy 500 win this year, will you run a tribute scheme to him, maybe one that is inspired by one of A.J.'s iconic cars like his 1961 or 1964 Indy car schemes? I love those paint schemes. Uh, the hard part is, you know, because of our sponsorships with, with Office Depot and Mobile One, we have to make sure we have their, their paint schemes on the car. You know, we, when we started our first Daytona 500 uh, two years ago, we had a part of the quarter panel that Office Depot gave us to, to have AJ's hat on there and everything. So uh, you might see something like that possibly, but uh, we got to make sure that we take care of the people that are letting us do what we do. Okay. From Twitter, Riley M2796. Tony, is it harder managing your own team than being under a contract, or is it easier to have your own team? Uh, I'm still under contract because, believe it or not, as an owner, I had to... I had to sign a contract as a driver to the company. So, um, you know, I have my owner's contract with Gene and I, and then I also have a driver's contract to the race team. So uh, it, it is it is kind of an odd situation where I'm having to sign a contract uh, to the company that I own. Right. Also. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. From SmokeFan14 on Twitter, and I'm going to preface this with he's not talking about a mafia head. Okay. <laughs> Are you going to be the one to knock off Jimmy? Um... Man, I hope so, because we were the last one to win one other than Jimmy, so uh, I would like to be the guy that kind of is the bookends to his dynasty. You know, we're on one side of it already, no matter what, but uh, I hope we're in that position where we're the team that can, can do that. It's, you know, winning a championship is, is pretty cool and special in the series, but to, to end a dynasty like that and be that team that was able to unseat those guys, uh, that, that's going to be a, an extra sense of pride that somebody's going to have. Yeah. Okay. From... DRL DeBoer, are you doing anything different this year to prep yourself for the 500? No, <laughs> actually no, I, we aren't. It's, um, you know, the guys are still doing everything they can to make sure they get me the best race car for the 500 that we can have. Uh, you know, it, I think more so than anything, it's going to be the practice sessions and the qualifying race and the, and the, and the nationwide race on Saturday uh, that'll get us ready for Sunday as far as what I do in the car, but as far as our equipment, the team, um, they're doing a great job, like always. It's just learning the, this new style of racing that we're having with the, uh, with the two, two yeah. uh, car breakaways. Yeah. Last one from T. Stewart Lover 14. <laughs> Is this finally the year you will win the Daytona 500? <laughs> if I knew that, I'd be a booking in Las Vegas, <laughs> but I hope so. <laughs> but I really hope so. I mean, I, we, it's, uh, you know, I've been here 13 years now and haven't won it yet, so it makes you, it makes you want it a little more. Yeah, awesome. Thanks very much. We appreciate your time.